In this video, I'll be talking about the USCIS policy and recommendation on how to pay your filing fee. Welcome back. My name is Jeremy Richards. I'm a U.S. immigration lawyer with the Law Offices of Richards and Jerusik, where we solely practice U.S. immigration law. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel, hit the, the thumbs up if you like this video and the content, uh, and, and hit that subscriber bell so that uh, if new content comes out, you'll be reminded of that content as well. And look, look below in the comments because we provide helpful information about the content of this video as well as other helpful U.S. immigration content. USCIS recently updated its policy uh, regarding payment of filing fees. It used to be that you could submit a filing fee uh, for a case in one check. So, for example, if you're, you're doing an H-1B visa, and I think this is when it, it, it most often is, is relevant because H-1Bs can have several different filing fees. You can have your $500 fraud fee, you can have your $460 I-129 fee, you have your $1,500 Acquia fee, and you could also have your $2,500 premium processing fee. In years past, you would be able to combine those fees into one check, this premium processing fee in one check, and then the 460, the 500, the 1500, and another check. USCIS has requested that every fee that you pay to them now be done in a separate payment form. So you would pay your $500 fraud fee in one check, your, your $1,500 Acquia fee in one check, and your $460 filing fee in another check, and then your $2,500 premium processing fee in another check. Uh, this is a request from USCIS that they want every, one of the, every payment that you make to them in a separate payment form. Now, this would also apply to adjustment of status. So if you're paying for adjustment of status, they want your filing fee for the form I-130, for the form I-485, as well as your biometrics fee, all separate payments. So a separate payment check for each of those filing fees. If you fail to do this, USCIS could reject your case and kick it back, which is very frustrating. So make sure when you're paying your filing fees that you're complying with this USCIS request that every payment that you make to them be on a separate check. And make sure, obviously, that you are providing the correct payment form uh, and that it's made out to the, to the correct entity as well. And below in the comments, we provide information on how to pay by credit card as well as how to pay by check to make sure that you are paying these fees properly. Again, make sure when you do pay the fees from now on that they are that a separate fee or a separate check is submitted for each uh, USCIS filing fee or biometrics fee. If you have any other questions about US immigration law, that's all we practice. Feel free to contact us through our website, by email, by phone call, whatever, whatever method is easier for you. If you have any other questions or need assistance, feel free to contact us directly. Thank you for watching and have a great day.